Hello, welcome back to our motion tutorial series. Today, we're going to learn about recurring tasks. Do you have tasks that repeat regularly? Let's make life easier with recurring tasks in motion. Why would you use recurring tasks though? Recurring tasks are ideal for repetitive work, like daily stand-ups, weekly reports, monthly reviews, or walking your dog. Let's create a recurring task together. But first, let me tell you a little bit about my dog, Hendrix. I love this little dude, but he's an Australian shepherd. So I need to walk him at least one hour every single day. But it doesn't really matter to him at which time I do that as long as it's before lunch. So I'm gonna click here to create a new task. I will click the recurring button. This will switch my task into a recurring task. From here, I can customize how often it repeats. So let's go through the option. Daily, once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, or once every three months. More options coming soon. The way to think about motion recurring tasks is as follows. Say you have a recurring task that repeats on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Motion will schedule a recurrence. Let's call it recurrence A on Monday, recurrence B on Wednesday, and recurrence C on Friday. If you're not able to get to recurrence A on Monday, Motion will move it to Tuesday for you, so you still have a chance to get that done. Okay, back to scheduling my walk with Henry. I want to every day, so I'm going to click daily, just the weekdays. I'm going to click here on schedule and select custom and tell Motion that I want to walk him between 6.30 a.m. and noon. His favorite time is at sunrise, yeah. so I'm going to say 6.30 a.m. I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to name the task, Walk Hendrix, and I'm going to save it. And as you can see, the task is now scheduled on the calendar every day. The last key concept that you need to know about recurring tasks is the difference between the task definition and the recurrence. A task definition defines how often a recurrence will be created, and a recurrence is the individual task that appears on the calendar. If you want to edit a recurring task, it's as simple as clicking the task on the calendar to open the recurrence, then clicking this button up here to edit the parent. This opens up the task definition, and from here, you can update all the fields of this task for all future recurrences. All right, that's all for today with recurring tasks. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.